Hello everyone. Today we're going to make a scallion chicken. All we need just chicken and a lot of scallions. Within about 30 minutes, we're gonna enjoy super delicious scallion chicken dish. Let's get ready. Step one, to cut up a chicken into bite-sized chunks. You may either use boneless, skinless, or with the skin on is okay. You can use a chicken leg meat, uh, chicken breast, or chicken thigh. Today I'm using chicken thigh meat. That's kind of my favorite chicken meat. Cut into medium size bite sizes. You don't want to cut it too small as the chicken will cook down a lot. Then we're going to marinate chicken for 10 minutes. During chicken 10 minutes marination, we will prepare scallions and other ingredients for this dish. Okay, let's marinate chicken. About two to three tablespoons of grated ginger. You may also slice ginger to thin strip to marinate. Two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of black pepper. You may add more if you like more peppery flavor. This is a Shaoxing cooking wine. If you don't have a Shaoxing cooking wine, you may also use white wine. I'll add about two tablespoons. Lastly, we'll add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay, now let's get in with the hands. We'll combine all ingredients and spices into chicken meat. Kind of massage through them in. I found it just so much easier to take care of the step by hands. I have massaged through all spices and ingredients in about a minute. Now all the flavors has been completely absorbed into the chicken meat. Set this on the side, let it marinate for about 10 minutes. During this time, we can prepare scallions. Like the name of the dish, scallion chicken. The most of flavor come from scallions, therefore we are going to use a lot of scallions. For six pieces of chicken thighs I have today, I prepared a total of 16 whole scallions. You may modify the quantity of the scallions based on your own preference of the flavor from scallions. First, let's separate white parts and the green parts of the scallions. Chop white parts of the scallions into 1 or 1.5 centimeter in lengthwise. You don't want to cut it too small because we do want it to taste the scallions after the complete cooking, as well as the scallions will cook down a lot during the cooking process. You may cut the green parts of the scallions a little smaller as they are primarily used as a garnish at the end of the cooking to not only infuse vibrant color into the dish, but also impart a delightful pungent flavor. Charlotte play a dual role in this recipe. They're utilized to infuse the oil for cooking the chicken while also being lightly fried to create garnishes alongside the green parts of scallions. This combination adds multifaceted layers of flavor to elevate this whole dish. Slice the shallots thinly to facilitate a quicker release of their flavors into the oil during the fry. Also a faster infusion process and speeding up the overall frying time. Loosing up shallots by hands and set on the side, let's move on to sauce ball. Add one tablespoon of sugar in the bowl. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of soy sauce. Half tablespoon of dark soy sauce. One tablespoon of cooking wine. Give a little mix. Then add one tablespoon of water. Now we're ready to cook scallion chicken. Heat up your pan first, then add two to three tablespoons of oil in hot pan. Add shallots. We'll let it fry about a minute to two over medium heat. And make sure you're um, doing this step over medium low heat. Give about another 30 seconds and then we can remove shallots out of the pan. Yeah, make sure you also consistently stir them around, flipping them, making sure they fry evenly in the oil. Add chicken meat in. 
stir around to evenly coat each piece with the scallion infused flavors. And we're going to stir fry for about three to five minutes, allowing the heat to evaporate the moisture from the meat as well. This infused oil will give chicken meat so much more flavor. Trust me, I have tried this recipe multiple times with infused oil, without infused oil. Well, without infused oil, it tastes just as good, but with infused oil by Charlotte's, oh gosh, the flavor, it is so much better. Even without infused oil, this dish is still tastes so good because if you use a lot of uh, scallions, that's where the flavor comes from. Cook it about three to five minutes. Cook down all the moisture in the meat. Not much moisture, not much juice in the pan anymore. Then this is the time to add a sauce. Give a quick stir, about 30 seconds. Evenly coat sauce with each piece of a chicken meat. Then we'll add in white parts of scallions. It looks beautiful right now and smells sensational here. You guys really have to try this recipe. So easy and smells so good. Cover with the lid. Let it cook about two to three minutes. After two minutes, open the lid. Wow. Yes, I can definitely smell the scallions and shallots infused oil. Stir around for about one minute. And here you can give a taste, add salt and pepper to your taste. This looks so good. It makes me feel so hungry right now. Just take a look at this chicken meat. I wish you all can smell this right now. Let the chicken continue cooking uncovered for an additional minute to two. This step facilitates the reduction of any remaining sauce. We want that thicker consistency that enhances the flavors of the dish. Lastly, add green parts of scallions all in. Turn off the heat here. Give a quick mix. Voila! It smells sensational here. So good. How easy it is. Easy, quick, but delicious. Ta-da! So because I love spicy food, I always will add tablespoon to two tablespoons of chili oil in there. Of course, that's optional as well. Add my chili oil. Give a quick stir. Ooh, I cannot wait to taste this. There you go. Are you hungry yet? I sure am hungry now. Okay, let's take a moment to admire this mouth-watering scallion chicken. It's truly irresistible and it makes me salivate as we capture the scene. Unfortunately, there was a technical glitch while filming the final garnish of crispy fried scallions atop of the dish. It seems cooking is my forte, where Aria's technology remains a bit of a challenge. But I'm committed to improving the quality of my tutorials to share even more delicious recipes with all of you serving a bit of a brown rice okay let's give a taste mm -hmm. so much flavor so delicious wow look at that look at the color it's perfect the chili oil really give you a little kick add some chili oil in the end it does give you extra layer of flavor so good you guys serve on the bed of the rice Perfect. Go make some, you guys. So good. Thank you for watching. See you next time.